Hey Trailblazers, Jackie here. I'm here with Monk and Bearcat. They are two Canadian ultralight backpackers and they are carrying, well, Bearcat is carrying a pack that weighs how much? About 10 to 12 pounds. And just to give you some perspective on this, it's 10 to 12 pounds without food or water, but my pack with food and water weighs between 35 to 38 pounds. So quite a <laughs> difference there. They're much lighter than I am. So I had to ask them, what's inside your bag? Well, first of all, because we're traveling together, there are a couple things we share. So we share a pot and a stove. So this is our pot. This is our stove. This is how big it is. How much does that weigh? This weighs about an ounce. Wow. Um, and I keep in here also our first aid kit. This is our shared first aid kit between the two of us. Um, this is my rain jacket and my personal hygiene bag. So basically toothbrush, floss, and ibuprofen, not much else. My toothbrush is actually a tube. So the toothpaste is in Ooh, the bottom cool. of the toothbrush, saving even more weight. <laughs> Um, this is my clothing bag, so just some extra pieces and also doubles as my pillow at night. Uh, and it, I keep it in a stuff sack. And this is my food bag. Um, usually we have about three to four days of food at a time that I keep in my food bag. Um, I have a, just an electronics bag I keep in a Ziploc to keep it dry. It's just our phone. We have a phone that we share between the two of us. Uh, my glasses, my phone, my journal. Uh, this is my headlamp, so really small, doesn't even have a real strap, just pulley, pulley system. Put it I have never head. seen one with a strap like that, I like it. Um, it's this army knife, which is only yay big. Nice, I have the same. Uh, my thermorest, so this is my sleeping pad, and it's only a three quarter length women, so when I'm lying on my side, I'm pretty short, I'm only 5'3". It actually is full length for me, and if I want to lie on my back and stretch out, I use my sitting pad that I use during the day to sit on uh, to put under my feet to keep my feet comfy and off the ground. Uh, and my sleeping bag, which is um, really high quality down, so it's good to 30 degrees and it only weighs two pounds and it's actually in a waterproof stuff sack. That is, oh, and we've it. got a one pound tent that we share between us and it has no poles in it so we have to use our walking poles to hold it up and uh, it's probably one of the lightest tents you can get for two people. Yeah that's my tent that I first got starting out hiking weighed five pounds and I thought that was extremely light but you guys <laughs> definitely got me beat there. Uh, and I have a couple hip belt pockets and um, side pockets here so we have a point and shoot camera and a tripod so that we can take pictures on trail. We have a tent stake that we use to dig a cat hole to leave no trace if we need to dig a privy hole on the trail and hand sanitizer. Um, and then a water bottle, I keep my filtered drinking water in here and we actually filter our water using this bottle and the filter that's attached to it. Uh, and then camp shoes! Nice! So camp shoes are used when after a long day of hiking your feet are pretty tired and sore and you need to get out of them and into camp shoes to let your feet get some air and make sure they don't blister up. So camp shoes come in really handy. And then my actual backpack itself now only weighs... Two pounds. Two pounds. I think mine weighs, once again, like four or five. <laughs> so, well, great. That is truly impressive. That is some really light backpacking. Thank you for showing us what's in your bag. Yeah. On the next video, I am going to be interviewing a through hiker. So she's going through all the way from Georgia to Maine. And she's going to be talking to us about what preparation she needed to do before the trip in order to head off onto the trail. See you next time, Trailblazers.